Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond. Welcoming you back to the world of Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. In the last episode, we got aboard the Shroob Mothership after our fight with Bowser and Baby Bowser because Peach just went and got herself kidnapped even with her eyes closed. She's like, I can get kidnapped with my eyes closed. She's just so darn talented at it. In this episode, we're probably going to save her. Let's try at least. I got a lot of stinking beans in here. I don't know if you could actually come back here, unlike the stinking Yube, which you could return to. Uh, but this area specifically, I don't think you can, so for that reason, I would recommend getting all the beans on your first visit if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, we need to do a jump right here. Uh, just fly all over here. And fly over here. Over here. And get this item block. Uh, two ultra drops. Anything else, though? Uh, fly them up over here, and there is a whole lot of nothing. How do I get over to that side? Going to the other side? Can't even break out into saw when I'm sick. It's horrible. I can't even sing Greatest Showman. It's all that ever keeps me going. Uh, we got a bunch of green goop in the background, so it's really gross, and they're bathing in it. Of course they are, because they're aliens. They always gotta bathe in gross stuff. I want to meet an alien that's, like, absolutely no different at all from us. It's like exactly the same in every single way. It'd be a very boring movie, I guess, but um, I don't know. It'd just be a twist if you think about it. Uh, just roll on over here with the bros ball. And we can get this item to copy flowers. Copy that, and hello, new enemy. Well, it's you know, just a recolor, all things considered. It is a guardian shroom. Probably just like the regular shrooms, but more powerful. Uh, very quick, my god. Okay. Uh, you get the different sound effects show you which attack the, which person they're gonna attack, or they could have both of them attack at once. Uh, okay. Not sure why that's so difficult to avoid, but whatever. At least, uh, Luigi is just too darn weak to get rid of them in one hit. Okay, take care of that. Uh, just jump, jump, jump. And do a little wave. And do a little wave. Luigi, attack him. Mario, attack him. And one more enemy. What are you gonna do, buddy? Huh, huh, huh? You're gonna completely miss and fail. Hooray! And speaking of failure, hello, Luigi. You didn't KO him one hit, even though you got plus six attack in the last level up. What's your excuse, bucko? Get that experience, get that coinage, get that ultra drop, and get on out of here. I like how you hear that every single time. Uh, we already got that item block, so we just run up here ever so slowly. So I guess it's not that much running. Okay, get rid of that sucker. Get 10 coins, and it just looks really sick and gross. My god, why do they gotta like design it? Like it's weird enough that they're bathing in it, but like they design it after themselves. Like imagine if we did that in real life where you have a shower hose that's in the shape of your head and it's just like gushing out water or something like that. I'm sure some nar some super rich narcissist has that in their house, but I don't know, just really thinking weird looking. Okay. Go over here. Uh, we cannot do anything with the babies. We can't even do that, really. I thought we'd be able to get under there, but apparently not. Uh, can we even get up right now? Yeah, we can. Oh, what is it that's down here? I want to know. I want to be where the pancakes are. Just flatten them like that. Get in here. Hop on down. And we gotta wait for them. I kind of wish there was a ability, there was a button to just automatically pop them back up. There isn't. Uh, drill that. Get the bean. Anything else we got? Uh, drain badge A. What does that do? It... Uh, recover lots of HP depending on how many times you damage your foe. Okay. Uh, hmm. I guess we could... Uh, put that on baby Luigi. Sounds pretty good. And that's in Kara. We will use the Bros Ball. Roll on over here. Hopefully there's a warp pipe lock right along this path. And there isn't. Hooray. I gotta go get them. I don't even know why I hit that, because it's probably gonna be a time limit thing right now. Be like, three, two, one, go. Or not. Eh, whatever. I'll just bring them on over here. And it looks like they're being, like, dried off by having vigorous suction on their heads. That's a really creative way to do it, I suppose? Uh, hmm. 
Okay. Trying to remember what this is about. What is it about, bruh? Huh. Can we walk in here? We can, but it's a matter of... Okay, I get it, I get it. Uh, let's do that. So we just gotta light up the area in which the block is currently located so that the bros could go ahead and hit it. Uh, so we go two spaces over, I believe. Uh, one more, okay. There you go. And goes on to the right. Follow it on over here. Like Luigi's little jig that you see. I don't really get to see it all, all that often in this game because he's always piggybacking and whatnot. Something else you don't really get to see is always an official artwork. I don't know why, but for the Mario and Luigi games, they give Luigi these red and white socks. It's like they're very legendary socks. I don't know why, but just for the Mario and Luigi games and the official artwork, they always give him red and white socks. They're always make an effort to show you those. Really stinking weird, but whatever. Uh, hit that, there you go. Brings that down. And I believe we're good to go. Uh, we got that right there, but is there a way to just jump down right at the end of this path? Yes, there is. So, down we go! And reunited, very good. Head on over here, we've come full circle. Hit that block to open up a pathway in case we need to backtrack and use that save block. I guess we didn't see the special photo for this area, so I guess we'll do that right now. Uh, wherever that may be. It's all the way up here. Ugh. Walk all the way here just to show a stinking photo. And there you go. Very cool. They're like, hey, we got abducted. Well, I guess taking all these photographs anyway. I don't know. I kind of liked in the original game how, not the original game, but like uh, Superstar Saga, how you had like these little passports you could change your photo on it depending on like your different pose. If you press different buttons on the D-pad, it looked really funny. But I guess the postcards are a good uh, feature as well. And wow, the final dungeon chair is a lot shorter than I thought it would be. Uh, let's go ahead and take a hole right here, get some more beans. Anything else? There's one more bean right here. Very good. Or not so good, because I missed it. Uh, we got one block over there, and then I think we'll be good. Let's go and get it, because I always got to get everything. Spin away, my baby friends. And it wasn't really worth it. Then again, is it ever worth it? Eh, it probably is at some points. Automatic piggyback, hooray. We just happened to have a hologram of Princess Peach set up in our base of operations. Because of course we do. Hello! Now's our chance for this way, this goes this way! I remember just being so stinking angry when that happened for the first time, when I saw it for the first time, I was just like, my god, how could they do that to us? Gee whiz! You were in the fry pan, but good, but good, weren't you boys? Who knows what would have been me and your fan if you were starting to go just reward one around, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, you scratched, scratched my back, which does I scratch, you scratched yours. That way I'll square, huh? Not the heart, to be exact. Say, by the way, Vettelis, did you really think that, 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 that was real Princess Peach the whole time? 
yeah, kinda. And hey, the break the bones, but that was Princess Room. What's that? You took the, 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 the name through the time hole in the future Mushroom Kingdom? Gee whiz, I gotta say, for the time, I'm about back to friends, and it's told like the can wigglers. I all say that you, you, you say you think the say that it was Princess Roots playing all along, talking about a twist. Yeah, she sets herself up as Princess Peach and Uncle Jay's Beach Castle in the future. What she's really after. This is just got the good ocean kingdom of your time too, the gal, the gal, and this gal. But this didn't work out so well for Miss, Miss Purple Porcelain now, did they? If that lump of bones with it, that's also the guy who got the guy got into the mix. Oh, I'm just my bubbling hot air out over here. Remember this little bit of hey, I'm sure you do. It's just maybe the key throughout victory, Whiskers. This name's got a hunt heart. Had day's end. This will be the biggest business scoop in the history of the scoops. Ooh. Uh. Sure, let little get up and go. It's cause it's gravy time. Miss your paper, make paper sound this big, big, big break. Bruh. My God. Okay, I'll I I favor burping over sneezing horribly and coughing uncontrollably, but whatever. But yes, I'm not entirely sure what the benefit is of being in control of both timelines, because if you're in control of the past, you would conceivably be in control of the future when it comes to you. I don't really know what you're trying to get out of taking control of the past and present. I guess because the time holes exist, there will always be people from the future coming to stop you in the past, so I guess that's why you're trying to stop them right now, but I don't know, I don't entirely understand it, what the benefit is if you control the past, then you control the future and the present and whatnot. Well, maybe that's just me. Look, fellas. You can bet, bet, bet your whiskers is where that key goes. And at long last, the secret of the shrooms, the scoop of a lifetime. Aha! Aha! The mystery! The scoop! Let's see it! Hey. What gives? This ain't good. Oh, raspberries are done for! Luigi! <laughs> I wish I could hula dance my way into being able to fly. No, why heart? Why does everything always come up lemons? That was raspberries. Somebody help! Somebody! Anybody? Hello? Yoinks! Oh, what gives? Put that shrub down! Yoinks! What's all the racket about? Somebody eating cookies in there? I'm starving up here. Here I come, cookie hogs. Yoshi! 
we've got to repair the village by boogity. Oh, that image keeps popping up in my brain. Know what I decided? I'm not gonna think about it anymore. I'm having fun with the Yoshis, and that's good enough for me. What an escape, and what a drop! I remember! I seem to be improving my landing skills the more I get thrown about like luggage. It's funny, cause he is luggage. Now then, my super sensors indicate this is Toad Town. It seems to have taken an extendular amount of damage. Shall we inspect that shop? Perhaps there is someone we could speak to if you follow. Yes, we are in Toad Town. A uh, reference to Paper Mario, which is kind of interesting. But, of course, keeping in the theme of this game, it is in complete shambles. Oh, mercy, I didn't think there was a soul left in these parts. Are you folks here to shop? Why, Grandma Green, we have customers. Goodness gracious, Grandma Red, we do. Customers are awful scarce these days. Those shrew hooligans tore our poor old village into pieces. I do believe we old biddies are the only two souls left. Nothing but memories left in town, and that's the truth. Such sadness and such loneliness for us old birds. Oh, terrible loneliness. When you're as old as we are, loneliness is all you can count on. You look like fine young men. Would you shop here every day and make us old heads happy? Oh, fine idea, Grandma Red. Of course these gentlemen will. They share our fashion sense. I have no doubt you youngsters are kindly folk. No doubt at all. You have trustworthy mustaches. I'm sure you'll sympathize with our plight and buy lots and lots of things. Oh yes, lots and lots. I do like the sound of that. My, all this excitement's got me feeling like a teenager. Lots and lots, and then some more to boot. Ready, Grandma Red? Both together now. Welcome. Come on into Grandma's palace. You, or Grandma's place. Would you like to pursue our section of gear? Yes, indeed. What do we got? Clothing? Star trousers. Good for Luigi. Jesus, why are you just like the ultimate sinking outfit or something? Like, my God. Star trousers. Trousers made for superstars. Increase power with power star. With star power. Increase power with star power. Uh, do I actually increase with star power? I'm not sure what that means because we don't have anything that has star power as far as I'm aware. Give that to Luigi. Uh, shroom slacks, which is different for these characters. Uh... Shroom powered slacks that increase heart points. So it'll increase Luigi's HP but lower his attack and defense. It'll increase Mario's attack or his HP and defense but lower his attack. Uh okay. We got uh Stardust Pants for the babies. And uh mushroom jeans for the babies, but I don't really want either of them. I'm gonna buy. Eh, well, actually, we'll buy these. I was gonna like buy one for Mario just in case I wanted to switch it later on, but something tells me we'll get even better equipment later on, so oh, we don't need to. Salvage badge A. We do not. Own, we own the risk badge already, and the safety badge. Uh, greatly decrease all damage both given and received. So it makes your attack super weak, makes the enemy attack super weak, which I guess is cool. I guess if you like long battles and you just want to like practice and whatnot or whatever. Salvage badge A. Get high chance of collecting items used in battle after battle. Uh, we already have the salvage badge of pro former, so, or proper, I guess you would say, so, we know what this does, I don't really want one. You come back anytime, we'll be here, lonely, and remember, more is better. Charmin Ultra, less is more, though. So, going to this place, some items we got, no new items, it seems. How about bros items? We got red shells and mixed flowers. These are the last two bros items in the entire game. Red shell is kind of like the green shell, except... It could go on forever. The green shell has a cap of like 30, I believe. You can only hit enemies 30 times and then it'll stop uh, going through the cycle. The red shells hit on forever. 
Mixed Flowers it is the ultimate fire flower. It can hurt with fire damage and ice damage at the same time. And it has a chance of burning and lowering stats too, I believe. But I'm not a super huge fan of it. We could just get some for the sake of having some. And I think we're good to go. So now that's taken care of, we got our equipment from here. If you remember, we went to Toad Town a little bit earlier on in the game when I was like trying to find all those different time holes that opened up. And we weren't able to actually explore this place. Hello! Uh, we got this dude right here. This is a droid. A shroop droid. How very creative. Uh, I believe he'll short circuit eventually if you don't take care of him quick enough. But thankfully I did so. And we don't have to worry about it. Either short circuit or explode or something like that. Uh, we just keep on getting rid of these things. Uh, got a bunch of red shells. Got one of super. A lot of good items for you. Yeah, as you might remember we saw this place before where we weren't able to explore because there was a gate in the way. But now we're on the other side, so we can see what this place is all about. And it is about devastation, apparently, because everyone is dead, it seems. Uh, you get locked into this thing, you just gotta like jump over and over and over and over until you can break out of the crystal, so you'll be able to jump and dodge the attack. Very, very nice. Jump on him once more. And we're good. So yeah, like, I never really, I always thought it was just the early on parts of the game that had, like, really dark themes. The Thwomp Fortress, or Swank Valley, whatever it was called, it didn't really have any uh, sort of dark theme to it. It was just, like, a place full of Thwomps or wherever. Uh, but now we're back to the dark theme of just, like, having Toad Town. It's even more unsettling the fact that this is an area that we've been to before. This is a place from Paper Mario we know what it's supposed to be like, but it's all completely destroyed now. And that's really sad when you think about it. I uh, got two red shells and a coin. Uh, we could jump out over here, and that is right back over here. Uh, where are the big bros? I gotta find them big bros. Uh, they're on a different screen entirely? Uh-oh, that's not good. Could- oh, we can't even go over there. I think, yeah, this is actually a point where we get separated. God darn it. Okay, so yeah, this is actually sort of required for you two to be separated the entire time, so... Uh, red and green flag. It's like Shy Guy says or something. Just do what he says, otherwise he'll throw the flag at you and it'll be very, very painful. Red. Red and green. Red. Red and green. Okay. Just do that. And, uh, how about we show off the red shell, because why the heck not? Pew. Pew. It's a little bit more powerful as well, but the real appeal is that it can just go on forever and ever. Or until you mess up, whichever comes first. This isn't necessarily a dungeon, but the entire place has been ransacked, so there's nothing else left for us but to fight a bunch of enemies and whatnot. So I think we're going to end this off here, and then we will uh, pick things back up in the next episode where we just try and get out of Toad Town, because unfortunately this place is... Long gone for us, so there's nothing else for us to really do but make our way to the nearest time hole where we will be able to return to the Mushroom Kingdom. Next time on Mario & Luigi Partners in Time, we are going to make an attempt to escape Toad Town and return to the Mushroom Kingdom with not so great news that we never had the real princess with us to begin with. Hopefully she's out there somewhere at the very least. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.